I was wrestling in prayer with, like Jacob, I mean, and there's something about the dreams that I had being a reluctant saint and being a Jonah by not answering the call that God had put on my life. There is some terrible things being done to saints. And you know what the Lord showed me this morning? This is not about unforgiveness. This is about warning people that if this does not stop, judgment has already started coming. The great toilet paper apocalypse was hilarious to me because I know it came from the Lord and I know why he did it. And um, it's because he totally, he totally was telling people, you're, you're not gonna keep invading people's privacy. My children who love me and pray for me and then make fun of them while they're in there. And that was, that's my prayer closet as well. You know, it's not about unforgiveness. It's not about saying, I, I don't forgive you and I'm going to bring it up. No, this is a horrific problem that's going on in the body of Christ and it has to be addressed. And people would want to shut you down by using a twist in the scripture to say that I'm not being forgiven, forgiving. But that's not true. This is addressing straight on a satanic attack that is happening to many people and it's causing some people to commit suicide. It's this bullying that's going on and it's okay to address it. What, what I did that I went too far was my attacks got personal. I was promised Psalm 35 when all this began. The Lord told me, I want you to hold on because I know these are unjust enemies and I understand that. And, and I'm going to keep praying and travailing in prayer about it, Psalm 35, because that's what the Lord showed me to do. I cannot be a reluctant saint on this. I cannot be a Jonah when he's calling me to stand up and talk about this because it's part of my testimony. It's something that happened to me and all the things that he's brought me out of. And no matter how much he defended me, Others still would see that it, that it was God defending me, but yet they wouldn't turn back and stop doing the same thing to me and others. You know, to use just to use people's lives as as a, a way to make money and and to uh, some of it gets way down deep into perversion that they're listening to them have sex and stealing ideas, intellectual property, prayers. They're stealing prayers that God gives people. This isn't about unforgiveness. This is bullying. And it's being done in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's why do you notice that I'm not addressing the Satanists that are doing this? This is going directly toward people who use the name of Jesus Christ that are taking part in a satanic, I'll call it a satanic ritual of shame to get people to shut up.